gonna start out with our crazy cow. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my hand and I'm going to mark down four fingers and I'm gonna put a dot here. Sorry for the noises in the background. Kason thinks the dogs are funny. But I'm gonna use a stencil, something that you have that's round. I have this um, color wheel here. But if you have a round bowl or something that will work about the same size, I'm just going to use that for the circle. So I'm just going to make a circle from where I put my dot. So this is going to be the cow's head. I'm just going to go around. I like to use stencils when making round shapes. It really helps. So I've already got my head here and then I'm going to put the body. So I'm going to go like I'm making a circle or an oval. His body's gonna be real fat. Okay, so again on the other side, make that just a kind of a, an oval shape that kind of stops at the end of your paper for his um, really fat cow body. And then we're gonna put two hills down here. So those are his hooves. One and two. And then you're going to put two lines, well, one right here in this hoof, and you're going to put another line in this hoof. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to make a rainbow or a hill shape. And I'm going to start it a little lower than where his body is, so about right here. And I'm just going to make this hill shape go across and meet on the other side. And then we're going to put two oval shapes inside that. They're going to be standing up ovals like this. Ooh, big nostrils. And that's his nose and mouth. Okay, so next we're going to do the eyes, and I'm going to use circles. We're going to use a few different shapes of circles. So I'm going to use my stencil again. If you don't have a stencil, that's fine. Just draw your circles in different um, sizes. So I'm going to start with this pretty large circle on this side, and then I'm going to go to the other side and make the same size. So these are big circles, and I want to make a smaller circle inside that, but I'm just kind of going to curve it off. So I won't use my stencil so you can see. I'm just going to make a curved circle in here and a curved circle in here and then I'm going to go in and make a smaller circle. So I'm going to find a circle that fits. That will be the pupil of the cow. So Sorry, whiny. That's our dog. <laughs> They're kind of whiny. Mm -hmm. So that's the eyes for the cow. Our next step is the horns. So you're going to come to the top of the head and we're going to make kind of a curved triangle or a cell shape. So we're going to make a curved line that comes up and it's going to curve back down. So it looks like a sail on a boat or a, um, like a curved triangle. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Then we want our ears to be kind of floppy. So I'm going to make I guess, a squished oval shape coming down below the horns, like a squished oval shape, doesn't ever reconnect. And then I'm just going to make a smaller shape just like that inside the bigger shape. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Whoop and whoop. Okay, so the next step is the tail. So I'm going to start my tail from down towards the bottom of the body, and I'm just going to make a curved line come up. And then I'm going to make a leaf like shape or teardrop or water drop that's going up just like that. And then I'm going to connect it, and then I'm going to Make another line that follows the line we did before. And it's just going to come down here to the bottom. And the last thing we're going to do is just add some organic shapes, just curvy lines that 
like make big blobs so our cow has some fun spots. I'm going to put one here on the head. Maybe another one over here. So just some our spotted cow. And then all you have to do is color it. So once we were finished drawing, we went ahead and outlined our cow in a black marker. And we put some black marker inside the eyes and in the nose. And then we went ahead and colored it in. So don't be afraid to get creative and add spots wherever you feel. Whatever fun color eyes you want to add to your cow. Um, anything else, any accessories or backgrounds. Get creative. You can see Case and got a little creative here. He wanted to make his have different um, spots. So he put some brown, some light browns and some dark browns and added a little bit differences in his bright green eyes. So this is it and you guys are done. Have fun with your cows and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.